Okay, folks, we have the 23 seconds we owe you from this morning, plus a little more. This is the magnetic filament turning over the northeastern limb, and you can actually see the top part eject up off of the sun, and just as it does so, the earth-facing portion gets a lot more active. The landed meteor shower is going to be peaking uh, in a few days in this coming weekend, uh, so get out there if the weather's nice. NASA's saying that uh, the moon had an ionosphere. Uh, it's essentially comprised of dust ionized by solar plasma. Interestingly enough, having nothing to do with another article that they put out today about magnetized moon rocks. Apparently, it also had a magnetosphere once uh, generated by a liquid turning core. Turning to economic worries now, folks, Italy really might bring down the entire world. There, uh, they cannot afford this new interest on these bonds. They're going to have a very serious liquidity problem. And it, literally, France and Germany are so tied to Italy. This isn't like Greece. They can't just kick Italy out of the euro. And uh, if you think United States uh, isn't pegged uh, to what they're doing and vice versa, just look at that. Uh, we found a pretty cool website. Uh, you guys should be checking this out daily, economiccrisis.us. They're following this stuff and doing a pretty good job. Looking over at HARP now on the total electron content, folks, we are 20 to 30 percent higher than we've ever seen it before. Uh, 30 to 40 percent higher than normal um, and this is pretty consistent no, without any coronal mass ejection spikes or anything uh, very very curious we're really juiced up a lot of electrons where is it all going we think a lot of its uh, lingering around up in our f2 layer uh, not our f1 layer but our f2 layer uh, it's we're high up uh, right around uh, 12 megahertz and uh, 600 kilometers in height if you look here on uh, the f1 layer although a few weeks ago we did have the highest critical frequency ever recorded up there we have seen a steady decline back down which does not match what the spikes we're seeing on the total electron content uh, so it'll be interesting to see as we go along folks be safe